Hello and welcome fellow gamers, my name is Borek and this is another episode of 7 Days to Die and we're back with Valmod in the previous episode, well actually that was stream, we went to the Dishong Tower over there where, where we have found quite an awesome loot. Right, so before we start, look at that, look at that, our chicken nest, our chicken coop is ready, is ready to be searched and let's see if it will stay for a bit longer than the meat trap or the mouse trap or whatever trap we can make animal trap yeah that's the one yeah but look at that chicken coop will be uh with us a little bit longer so that's fantastic unlike mm, the animal trap so in today's episode what i want to focus on is actually mm, going back to the fuel log that i have found a couple of episodes uh, back. So this is a really great source of fuel. As you can see, it has burn time on tw of 20, 22 minutes. And in comparison, if you go to log and if you search for those fuel logs that you can make, what is it? There it is. Uh, you can make it only in the chemistry station and it requires 20 wood and one tallow. Overall, of course, 20 wood, it used to be much better. As I said before, Valmar uh, should definitely review uh, his um, things, I mean his recipes, because it used to be much, much better. Now, when you sum up 20 uh, wooden logs burn time, it will give you like 16, maybe 18 minutes, something around that, and one fuel log only gives you 22, uh, of, uh, 22 minutes, of course. Overall, well, that's quite not that bad, but the biggest advantage of the fuel log is that I don't know how it is right now, but it used to be um, the heat map uh, for the screamers used to be used to work like that. Every single wood piece that you burn, it increases uh, the heat map. So burning one fuel log for 20 minutes only increased the heat map by once, not 20. Uh, like it used to be um, in the previous alphas. So anyway, I think that is really awesome uh, source of fuel. Unfortunately, goddamn filtering oh, for those. <sighs> God damn it! Just go with it. Now that's more. Like I can hear the zombie downstairs. Nevertheless, if we add this over here, that's that will give us like, psh, look at that, 27 minutes of burn time. I and I have some iron left over from the previous episode. So also, what I would like, what I would definitely like to do is make those iron shovel, shovel and iron hoe. Uh, can I make that one? Yes, fortunately hoe can be made, but unfortunately iron garden hoe. Not hoe, recipes, iron shovel requires whetstone, I don't know why. Do you really need to sharpen your tool to go into the sand? Is it really necessary? And honestly, well, finding now whetstones is not that easy task to do. At least in my opinion, let me just leave those things in here, the things that we won't need. So that's kind of a suck, because I cannot, I even cannot compare compare uh, those iron shovel for example versus iron scrap iron but still we will work our way around it right in today's episode what i would like to focus is actually making the chemistry station because chemistry station in valmont is relatively easy all we need is burning barrel po three cooking pots short iron pipes 15 and some wood but we need to unlock it with a perk so over here we have a chemistry station perk that we can unlock when we are construction tools 40 and science 2 so let's go first to construction <laughs> fuck that i'm not gonna wait like 28 what's that iron sledgehammer at level 30 that's good so we'll be able to make one and then let's go with wrench that's level 40 that is fantastic so um, let's unlock it up to level 40 let's spend some points and then science because it takes ages nowadays uh, to increase the construction tools and then let's go with science up to level two and that will unlock fuel lock beer mead blueberry mead and apple cider as well of course as possibility uh, to make the 
chemistry station. So let's spend 10 more points on that so we can make it. Hello? Okay, thank you. Um, now we have unlocked few recipes, but we're not gonna be going with them. Instead, I need some cooking pots and, and I need some pipes. So we should go over here. I have pipes and I wonder if I have some cooking pots. I actually have two. So that is, that is really awesome. <clears throat> Because what we need left is burning barrel. I don't know if I picked one. I don't think I could. Yeah, now I remember. We went to the trader and I was not able uh, to pick uh, the burning barrel. But I think we can make those with just some forged iron, which we have plenty of. So let's do that first and then we will go into chemistry station then we need a cooking pot so we can uh, actually do it in here in forge i guess so let's go with a pot like that cooking pot fantastic and we can make it in 13 seconds that's awesome so we, we will soon see what we can make uh that's done that's done it will take seven 17 seconds, so that's not uh, a lot. And over here, the cooking pot should be done as well. I don't know why do we need to require three cooking pots to make that one, but ah, okay, fair enough. So soon we'll be able to unlock um, new recipes and hopefully we'll be able to do some purified water and other stuff that we can make over there. Right, yo, one more second. So, where I'm gonna put it, I have absolutely no idea. Probably we will just go over here. Yeah, that's a good place for a chemistry station. Look at that. That's awesome. It really do, does look fantastic. Okay, so let's see what do we have over here. So we can make a fuel log. And actually that fuel log, I think it was over here. Yeah, that used to work with science i don't know if that upgrades any perks or skills nowadays because some of you might already know that nowadays it just sucks with those perk system and unlocking stuff but nevertheless we can make some gunpowder that is going to be much cheaper to make it over here because for one gunpowder uh for one gunpowder we'll need one lump of coal and one nitrate uh, instead of doing that in hand as you can do it I don't know why I throw that those things away actually that's a piece of wood but no it really doesn't matter so over here we can also brew beer make apple cider blueberry meat which is absolutely fantastic and some fertilizer if we had a beaker unfortunately we don't have a beaker so that sucks but we can do the antibiotics with a beaker as well and we don't have it but what is interesting is that we can go with uh, chemical agents and finally we can make glue over here with bone and make some edible antibiotics maniac powder uh, and reinforced steel upgrade as well with only five oil hmm that is quite interesting so, looking for a beaker, I think we should just start going to uh, the medical station. I mean, uh, there is a hospital nearby that we can go and pay a visit over there. But definitely I won't be needing any of those. But the rest I think we can keep. Now, um, you know what? Are we going to the medical station? I don't know maybe you know what let's go with bows because we still can do some bows such as wooden bows and there is a crossbow that I have unlocked so maybe let's do it let's see what is the difference between few of those nothing here I need glue and I need this and I need this and I think I needed some leather as well so let's make so let's make a crossbow what else is required forced iron Shit, two glue. But I think I had a recipe over there. Probably with a murky water. Um, let's double check that. Glue. That is goddamn skill. Okay, so let's check that skill. Hmm, I think it might be science. I don't know. 
Yeah, actually that's it. Six points. Okay, fair enough, science. So now uh, the glue is unlocked. That's awesome. So let's make it. And we need just bottled water. We should have some over here. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So let's go and make a glue. So uh, the gunpowder, the gun as you can see, is done. Let's make seven. Yeah, right away. I think there's something going on out outside. Yeah, definitely. I think there's a party going on. Hello, guys. Why are you having party with without me? Well, thank you for those for those feathers. They will be quite useful to me. What the hell is going on over here? Goddamn party starters. Well, moldy, that's good. That uh, moldy shamway thingy. Holy shit! That's a... Look at that party! And it's going on without me. Woohoo! That was a double kill. Yeah! I guess they don't give a fuck about me being in here. God damn it. Are you on drugs or something? Come on, guys. I'm over here. Well, at least she noticed me. God damn it. You can stay in here, like, stand here, like, for ages. And they don't give a fuck about you being here. Just making shitloads of noise. That is so, so rude. But on that note that we have so many guys over here, look at that. We can have bones for ages. Free bones to make free glue. Well, maybe not free, but still to make some glue. Oh, shit. All those thingy jigs are being destroyed. What the hell was that? Gator skin wallet. Oh, that is a quest item. That's good. Unfortunately, we have lost some some loot uh, because of those zombies disappeared or actually being destroyed. And un unfortunately, they did not drop any loot. That sucks. But all to all, it turned out to be good. Yeah, look at that. 21 bones and some rotting mish and mish. Rotting meat and of course some fat animal fat that can be turned into tallow and then in combination with in combination with um, wood 20 wood we can make fire logs that's fantastic okay let's go back let's go back to our lovely home oh shit what the hell is that oh yeah that's a hatch damas okay so over here we should have some glue ready so let's make a crossbow and then we will advance further on because we in Valmod we have if you don't know that in Valmod there are very different uh, various types of bows like iron crossbow iron bow as far as i remember uh, repeater crossbow as well and loki bow loki bow loki bow is unlocked after completing loki's quest but i have not found it just yet but i'm planning to do that and of course, finish that quest as well. The repeater crossbow is really awesome because you can put in it three bolts and it, you don't need to repeat every nowadays. Uh, okay, so to unlock all of all those bows, I think we need to increase our archery skill. Master archer? That's anti-damage. Well, you need to increase that skill. Look at that. Compound compound bow you can you will be able to make it or to put it together assemble it and make iron crossbow so let's buy that we're not going to be spending more i think because that will require 10 points hell yeah we're gonna do it uh, so we can compare all of them at level 250 now crossbow for iron crossbow we can do it that will take two minutes and 40 so let's do that and then there is a repeater crossbow probably i think it would 
it required repeat 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 it requires some mechanical mechanical parts and springs that we have so that's awesome 20 seconds man that is quite fast unfortunately we don't have too many darts uh, but i think we can go with bolts no i don't have bolts bolts hello what do i need to make bolts oh shit there are no stone bolts that sucks so on that note i think we need to go into the fletching and spend some more points on fletching still no maybe i just require okay that was unlocked at level 20 so that's good on that note i guess we can make something out of oh i have some iron bolts and crossbow that can be used iron arrowheads that can be turned into recipes iron arrow and bolts so i can craft it over here or here that makes me wonder and then those steel arrows maybe not maybe i can transfer them or uh, i have 129 steel arrows god damn yes baby so we can actually convert those into steel crossbow bolts so that is going to be perfect and awesome but i guess i need to i need to spend some more points steel crossbow bolt nine points to increase up to level 30 and now we should be able to cr transfer them into steel crossbow bolts because we will be using well basically we'll be using crossbow um so yeah that is a plan and we can compare uh, those things that we will be making now did i made that ordinary crossbow or i have not i'm derping hello i have 20 crossbow i guess i have not made it okay so let's correct that error and actually let's make ordinary crossbow just for the sake of gameplay i will do them and compare them okay guys so i'll be back as soon as they are made Alrighty then so i am back okay hello mr lumberjack so let's compare those two i have loaded three of them all of them with um iron iron crossbow bolts so they give anti-damage 35 normal crossbow at level 250 that one does eight points more damage let me just burn time noise range S not so good durability as you can see but in comparison with crossbow bolts so anti-damage of the iron crossbow is 43.5 that one does only 35 so it's the same as ordinary crossbow but it all to all i think it's much better why because you can shoot three bolts in a row before loading man i am sniping as hell okay so with one reload you can shoot up to three bolts almost at the same time bam bam and bam okay i'm not sniping at all so now let's compare those three are you hunting me god damn you i love the, that scope he is okay if he's so eager to meet me hello oh shit <laughs> so that is really helpful ah for fuck's sake he infected me so that is really oh shit <laughs> so i got another crossbow that is absolutely fantastic crossbow and the crossbow book and some and some bolts good that is awesome so let's read that to increase fletching and archery i wish i have found this earlier so i don't have to spend so many points 
but still okay so now let's turn into steel so we had like 30 uh, 35 so now well it's not that huge increase look at that it only increased by two points for the entity damage so that is not a lot no 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 not this one so now let's go with iron crossbow so probably that one the ordinary crossbow will just do another 37 the same but it doesn't shoot three bolts but the iron crossbow look at that 45 so that's additional free as well not that much if you ask me oh look at that i can repair it with a wood that's good so i can repair those two and then go to my combining station that is over here and no nope, not this one and increase the quality by four yeah <laughs> okay that totally wasn't worth it but still so all to all i think going with a repeater crossbow is best possible solution at least for me because i can just shoot those zombies in the ass Like that maybe not in the ass but in the head since i have this horde thingy jig horde extension holy crap that was good loot look at that i got some bullets and magnum bullets and some feathers for the still thingy jigs and we can poof nah she just glitched yeah but now she's dead oh man i'm finding so many cool things and yeah that's what i like that's why i like this repeater crossbow because it's absolutely awesome and fantastic and you don't need to uh, reload your crossbow every now and then ah, right in the head that's just great okay any other zombies around here yes there's another victim so if you if you miss you don't need to reload at least you don't need to reload that much. Oh, look at that. Potatoes. Potatoes. We can, we can make a stew. Why? There are those bags over here. Sandbags. No idea, though. I guess we should go and visit that location. God damn it. Oh, come on. That went through her head. Game, you are cheating for fuck's sake. If you do that, I'm gonna do the same. Well, maybe not cheat, but use a proper weapon. Okay, so here's a final victim, so let's try and get his ass. At least those... It's really amazing, because um, zombies made by Valmar does have better I.I. than Seven Days to Die original zombies. Because he spotted me right on, the, on sight. Ah, and he gave me a really nice quality crossbow. So it's all about crossbow in, in today's episode. Hello. Ah. I still have three shots in my clip. Well, maybe not three, but still. That is awesome. Uh, so old wall, very good archery weapon. At least in my opinion. Okay, guys, so on that note, I think we're gonna wrap up this episode. We've made a chemistry station, we have looted the bird's nest that we have created, and we played around with different types of crossbows. And I think that's really awesome. So, okay, guys, that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment about the gameplay, subscribe to the channel if you're new and you like what you see. And I hope that we'll see each other in the next episode. So, till then, take it easy, have fun. And happy gaming. Oh shit, I am infected. Let's eat that antibiotic. Do, 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 do. Ah, much better.